Now, seriously, why is this box so beaten up? Can't they just use a better packaging for this? Seriously, I paid 99 bucks for this thing and this is what I get. Okay, so this is literally the most powerful power bank that you are going to find in the market right now. This is the Zendure Super Tank external battery that I just got it from Indiegogo not too long ago, three months. They took three months to deliver me this thing. I think it's a pretty good time frame, even though, you know, they it's, it was about a month late, but due to the fact that they use a cheaper or probably a free shipping option, I got this thing three months later. The largest power bank that I've ever owned, it has 27,000 milliamp hour of juice inside, and it charges to any Type-C devices with up to 100 watts of power using USB power delivery. We're gonna unbox this. This is episode four of Curious Tech. On the front here, it will tell you basically all the features, not all, but some of the features of the power bank itself. So the color model that I choose here is called the Ice Blue model. So there's two USB-C ports, a first on the power bank, and it says that it has a super efficient power management, whatever that is, and it has premium internal battery cells. How premium it is, I don't know, but we are not going to check it out. We are just going to assume that that is a very premium battery that's right inside. This is where things start to get a lot more interesting. So it has a lot of compatible devices. So mobile phones, of course, that's one of them. MacBook Pros, iPad Pros, game consoles, tablets, cameras, specifically USB-C laptops. Any laptops that charges over USB-C are going to benefit from this power bank. Some of the features that the, the power bank features is that it does power delivery that we mentioned earlier, 100 watt input and output. So this is going to charge your devices really fast. And even if this runs out of juice, this is going to charge up pretty fast as well. There is a digital LED display that tells you the battery level. There's a 27,000 mAh battery. There's dual USB-C, same features on the front, smart pass-through charging, which means when you are charging this device, you can still use the power that's inside to charge other devices so that you don't need to use up an extra wall socket. Four USB outputs in total. So there's two USB-C and four standard USB-A ports on this monster. And there you go, voila. It's just a standard white packaging. And why? This looks like a mini Remoa power bank. Really nice ice blue color. This is a USB-C to USB-C cable. And there is actually a, a ladder strap over here that lets you tidy up the wiring. Pretty interesting. Okay, let's put that aside. And we got some paperwork right inside. Zendure Influencer Program. I am not an influencer, but I do contribute to the Indiegogo program. So yeah, I'm now doing this video unboxing. So yeah, technically I should join this influencer program. So one of the good things about this power bank is that it has this 24 month customer care and warranty. That's pretty great. But that's pretty much about it. You get the Zendure power, the Zendure Super Tank power bank. You get this US, this really nice USB-C to USB-C cable. And that's pretty much, you do not get anything extra out of the box at all. So I made a little mistake earlier on by saying that there were four USB-A ports, but in fact, there is in fact four USB ports. It's just that two of them are USB-C and the other two are standard USB-A ports. So there are labels over here. I'm not sure if you can see clearly on the camera because on the left-hand side of the USB-C port, this, this USB-C port supports an input and output of up to 100 watts. And the right side here supports a maximum output only, no input of up to 60 watts. Whereas the other two ports, you have a standard, a quick charge port over here that supports up to 15 watts of charging, a 5 volt, 3 ampere charging speed. And the other one is a Qualcomm uh, quick charge 3.0 compatible port, which is green color, of course, that supports up to 18 watts of charging output. And there's this little, little LED screen over here LCD screen that tells you the battery percentage. So there's a button here. When you press on it, it shows you the battery levels of this power bank. And the good thing here is that this power bank comes fully charged out of the box. Good thing about it, because I don't need to charge it when I really need to use it. So good job Zendir about that. We are going to find out whether it does really support up to its uh, potential charging speed. But the, the maximum charging rate device that I have here is my MacBook Pro, which supports up to 87 watts of charging power. My MacBook has 80% of power right now. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use the provided cable by Zendure to plug in into the laptop. 
to find out if it really charges at 87 watts. No way to go, go up to 100 watts because that's the maximum charging power rate. Is it charging? All right, it's not charging. Let, let me press the button. Oh yeah, it's charging now. Okay, so you see that the, the battery is now charging. The LCD here lights up and shows that it's still at 100%. We are going to into the system settings to find out on the charging wattage. Okay, so let's go over to system report and we are going over to the power. Oh my God, it's really charging at 100 watts. Do you see that guys? This is something that even the MacBook Pros charging brake cannot deliver. I'm not sure if this is going to like destroy my MacBook's power, but I really don't care. I mean, I mean, there should be some logic board or controller inside that controls the charging input because if it is really over, the, 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 the entire notebook would have just died down or whatever. But look at this, it is indeed charging at 100 watts. This is amazing. I mean, my God, I mean, this could literally charge faster than my MacBook Pro's original charging brick that only supports up to a maximum of 87 watts. So yeah, this cable is a good cable. It charges up to 100 watts and I'm actually pretty excited about this. So the next test that we are going to find out if it could support Samsung's latest 25 watt fast charging. So I have a power meter over here to show the wattage and I'm connected to the um, 100 watt output USB-C port of the Xander Super Tank. I'm going to use its cable connected to a standard USB-C to C cable and we shall find out if it really charges up to 25 watts. This is firing up and fast charging is enabled here. It's showing fast charging. The wattage that I'm seeing here, I got to turn off the screen. So yes, it goes up to a maximum 18 watts, which I saw earlier, but you can see that the wattage is jumping here and there. So yeah, it's now at 18. I've come to the conclusion that this thing doesn't support Samsung's 25 watt charging and you might want to just use Samsung's original charger if you want to get the actual fast charging speed. But yeah, 18 watts is still good on this thing. Let's proceed to the charging test. Let's charge up the Xander Super Tank and find out if it could really support up to 100 watts. So now I have my MacBook Pro's power brick here, which supports a USB power delivery charging wattage of up to 87 watts. And we are going to find out if it charges properly over to the Xander Super Tank using this power meter. But before that, I just have to say that you know, the power meter might not be the most accurate because I'm not sure if this thing can even support up to 87 watts or even 100 watts, but it could actually show a pretty decent wattage. Let's just assume that it can already support up to that kind of charging speed. So there you go. My power meter is now turned on again. Okay, and I have it connected to the Zendir's, Zendir Super Tank's USB-C port. And there we go. Do you see the wattage that's going up? It's charging at 65 watts-ish. There you go, 63, it's dropping. Probably due to the limitation of my power meter here that it only reads up to 60 watts of charging. But if you plug it directly into the Xander Super Tank, it should technically charge up to its maximum supported power wattage. So yeah, that's pretty much about the Xander Super Tank. This thing, it costs 99 dollars us dollars over at indiegogo i'm not sure if the campaign is still available right now but i've pasted the link down in the video description so that you guys can go check out if you're interested in getting one that's it for today's video thank you for watching for the fourth episode of curious Tech, where we review and check out weird and interesting tech stuffs on this channel. Remember to subscribe to KL Gadget TV, follow us on the usual social media channels. I'm Warren with KL Gadget TV and I will see you in our next video.